The riders, led by those wearing those classification jerseys, sent on their way from the start line. It'll be the finish line at the completion of five laps of 29 kilometers. There's the main peloton in hot pursuit of a three-rider group that has established itself out front. They've been out front since uh, the early kilometers, around about two and a half minutes to the three riders up front with Nick Lamini of the Dimension Data Squad on the front of the peloton, or on the front of the breakaway group, uh, with his uh, breakaway companions, Brian van Gotham, 28-year-old Dutchman in his wake, and uh, Jacobo Mosca, third in line, as things currently stand. So it's Lamini that's going to try and pinch these points and Mosca I'm not sure he's going to get there 200 meters still a way to go uh, to the top of the hill and indeed it is a grippy climb so let's not rule this one out for Mosca he's going to try and time his run to, per to perfection and indeed he does Lamini sits down immediately and backs off knows that he can't contend with the power of the Italian rider who with that little flourish goes to the head of the King of the Mountains classification and pinches that one back for the uh, Trek Segafredo squad so job done side by side on the climb take it all back he's perfectly equal to the uh, challenge offered by his South African breakaway companion let's widen this one here they come they didn't even make it to the top of the hill the Astana squad own this one and it's surely doing damage behind still a big bunch involved and who's uh, going to miss out here well across the top it is the Astana team who are in total control We've got some uh, sprint seconds on offer here, and I think that uh, Mario Trenton fancies that one. And that's a useful addition. It's uh, warmly received by the fans here, but Matteo Trentin, it's just pinched three seconds. Why not? And behind, well, it's all action. As Max Schackman for the Bora Hansgrohe squad gets in position across the top. Points go to Guillaume Martin. That's the certainty that he stays in the lead of the King of the Mountains competition. Well, always assuming he's uh, he's well up on general classification at the back end. It's still level on points at the top with uh, Jacobo Mosca. So down and into the closing stages. They own it on the front. Mitchell and Scott, they have done for so much of the day, but are they going to be able to? It looks like Edmondson that is going to lead through and into the final 250 metres with uh, Matteo Trentin ready to go. And here comes Pascal Ackerman on his wheel. But is Pascal Ackerman going to launch with it? 200 metres to go. Ackerman goes to the line. Is anyone going to prevent him? He's been second the first day in a row, but no one is going to stop Pascal Ackerman from getting the victory at the third time of asking for Bora Hansgro. It is the overall race leader, Pascal Ackerman, that takes victory on stage three of Tour of Guangxi. Superb finale, really well contested by all of the teams, but uh, Pascal Ackerman had what it took to get across that difficult final climb. Well, time to recover after that. It was a massive effort made, and heartiest congratulations from Felix Grossgartner for his uh, teammate and fellow countryman, because Pascal Ackerman made a big, big effort there. So there's confirmation of the finishing order on stage three of Tour of Guangxi 2019, as Pascal Ackerman gets the victory ahead of Alexander Rybyshenko, Matteo Trentin, Nikki Zart gets up for fourth for Team Sunweb, ahead of Pater Vakic, uh, Vakoc, Lillian Kalmjan, Sepp van Mark, Kiel Reinen, uh, Davide Martinelli and Merhawi Kudos. And what was a mixture of strong sprinters and uh, riders who can get up over the climbs.